Thank you so much, everyone, for staying with us right here on Channel Television's Politics Today. It's a one-hour stretch of the program on today's edition on Wednesday. We've been talking about President Buhari's uh, second-term cabinet and the task ahead. Tonight, uh, our panel on the program, a former Minister of Sports, Mr. Unua Abdukadri, and he is the National Vice Chairman of the APC. Dr. Joe Abba is also there in Abuja. So he is a former Director General of the Public Service Reforms. Chief Olabode George is a member of the People's Democratic Party Board of Trustees. Is in Ikoi, Lagos. I guess I should begin with Chief Bode George on what he thinks. I mean, is that is being an administrator and from the opposition point of view, uh, the journey begins today for the cabinet. The job, uh, the job is cut out for them. What do you make of this in uh, in respect of uh, the task that has been set before them, the burden of uh, delivering on the performance? that they've been set to achieve, and of course, the yearnings of Nigerians. Okay, uh, I'll go back to Chief Bode Judge shortly. But let me, let me get uh, uh, Mr. Inouye Abdul Qadri's uh, remark. Look at what uh, the People's Democratic Party said today in a statement when they were reacting to the, the formation of the cabinet. The PDP calls it, tagged it, a poor parade of recycled food travelers. And I quote the statement coming from the PDP. The PDP says, the party holds that in assembling a team made up of persons indicted for corruption and treasury looting, President Buhari has demonstrated that he has nothing to offer to the nation other than condoning and encouraging corruption as well as perpetrating incompetence, failure, and ineffectiveness in governance. Uh, Mr. Bukadri, your reaction to this? I think uh, is a reaction, the reaction is just normal uh, for them to say so because uh, normally when you're outside government, you always uh, try to support some uh, loopholes. And uh, uh, within the context they are talking, uh, I think um, we have to look at it this way. Those that are supposed or are claimed to have been indicted, well, these are people who uh, probably they may have issues here and there, which were not, uh, so, so to say, indicted in the reason because they are not being convicted. Uh, a number of them is just uh, a mere uh, a kind of uh, accusations uh, or insinuations here and there. Because in... When you are practicing democracy, when you are talking about the rule of law, uh, certainly the observance should be that the due process uh, should have to be taken place. And uh, uh, probably if uh, somebody is uh, pronounced guilty, that's when you say uh, really uh, there's something wrong uh, for Mr. President appointing such persons. I am not saying that there are no accusations. There are accusations. Uh, here and there against some people, but uh, really, as far as uh, the list is concerned, uh, I don't see any one of them, uh, the appointees, uh, having been convicted. So what the PDP is saying, uh, certainly, uh, is uh, just to, uh, to paint, uh, just, no, no, uh, out of having nothing to say in terms of uh, the, the appointees. All right. Uh, 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 we have uh, the benefit of the fact that you've served in cabinet. Uh, let me ask you, and as a member of the APC, a lot of expectations are on your party. Would you consider perhaps that this is the best there is to offer Nigerians in terms of the kind of team the president could put together? I think importantly, you can't uh, just... Um... Uh, uh, rule out that these are uh, eminent Nigerians with uh, uh, the basic qualifications to serve their nation. And uh, in all cases, or in all the, all the appointees, I have no doubt, because I have gone through their uh, curriculum, you'll see they have the qualification, they have the, the profile to man to be in the cabinet. Uh, what is important, we should understand, is... Uh, uh, this uh, is a collective, um, uh, uh, collective responsibility 
when you form a cabinet. So it is most, uh, all the ministers are expected to make their own contribution in policy formulation. And uh, uh, many people don't understand the role of ministers. The role of ministers are just uh, policy superintendents. They are not the, the, the bureaucrats do the execution of whatever policy that is being formulated. And uh, that's why uh, it's expected all the time that politicians are appointed into, uh, as ministers because they are the ones that went uh, to the electorate, the citizens of this country, to sell a particular idea uh, for forming a particular government like in this case. And they know what the party manifesto is and uh, what the party promised to deliver when elected. So in consideration of the appointment, that's why normally the president will consider uh, these factors. And uh, that's why uh, in uh, the constitution, everyone embassies or rather uh, provides for a, a, a meeting of ministers and key government officials, which is mandatory for the president to do, so that they will announce and they will articulate proper position of the policy of that particular administration, in this case, the APC uh, uh, administration under uh, President Muhammad Buhari. But uh, people uh, try to, to uh, give a picture as if the minister or the ministers will just sit down and implement uh, uh, policy. That is to formulate policies. They are policy makers, they drive the policy and uh, ensure that it's been implemented. But the actual implementation is by the bureaucrats. And uh, I think uh, that's the mixture people are making in terms of assessing uh, even the ministers uh, themselves and in, in terms of uh, uh, the expectations. So this, this, uh, uh, there must be, uh, you have to have a synergy between uh, what the policy makers and the, the actual uh, administrators who are the uh, uh, implementers of the uh, policies of whatever administration you put it on. And in this regard, uh, another area where we all felt is uh, the measurement and evaluation. You, you look at uh, what, are the, what, 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 was, what are the feedbacks, what had happened, eh? what have been uh, delivered and what not, uh, has not been delivered. It is uh, ordinarily because uh, the minister is incapable or he's not doing what he's supposed to do. So there is all right. a lot of uh, let, Let's get uh, uh, mixed uh, up uh, apologies. Uh, apologies to Bottin. Let, let's bring... Uh, Chief uh, Labode Judge back into the conversation now. Uh, Chief Bode Judge, from your own point of view, from the expectations of Nigerians, are you impressed with the, uh, the, the crop of people in President Buhari's cabinet? Well, let me say that... Uh... First of all, they are Nigerians. Secondly, they've gone through the screening. Uh, my concern is not who is there or who is not. My major concern is what will be the output from the group. That is what should concern they got, they've done, done all the uh, screening, and few of, some of them I knew from, from our party to join them. You know, um, for me, as a strong member of PDP, the main issue is what, what are they going to do? I am happy the, pre the president himself mentioned yesterday who are hungry in this country. Those two major issues, and they are interconnected. So what would they as individual ministers or as, and as collective government do to a switch? That, that's my major concern. Every government must be responsible for the safety of the people of uh, uh, of their country where they are governing and 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 that is what we should look at those in various agencies of the ministries that are there 
are they? You know? So those are my concerns. Um, they've appointed them in the next few months or whether they are here or there. But for our party, we cannot go now to start being or making any, any subjective analysis. We must allow them to run and manage the affairs of this country for the next three years. And it's only in the last year that we can come up. But we remember also that our party is still in court. Coincidentally, today was the date when all, both all parties were to uh, deliver their, their final reports to the Court of Appeal. So I must wish Nigeria well, and I wish our people well. But the actual taste of the pudding, when you eat it, you know it. So when they have been given the mandate to go ahead and do what is right, we are hoping that in door, that from tomorrow we will see the effect of uh, 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 their being in governance. Because some of them have been in government before. You know that. I have no objection. Chief Body Judge, at least a dozen of uh, some of these uh, new cabinet are returning. They are retained in their portfolios. With the priority areas, are you confident that they can deliver to Nigerians? Uh, I have tried to avoid making any suggestions or whatever. But first, let me talk as a Nigerian. Those who were there before, to me personally, I didn't see any impact on their performance. I am hoping that having been given a second chance, they must make a difference. Nigerians are at the precipice. They are hungry and therefore are angry. Let them go back now and make sure that this nation has given them another opportunity to have a positive minds and hearts of the people of Nigeria. Let me turn to uh, Mr. Unua Abdukadri, and I'd like him to uh, quickly respond to what Chief Body Judge said as to the expectations of Nigerians. He did say that he's not quite impressed with some of those who returned there are a lot of expectations on them. Your reaction? Uh, to, to begin with, uh, you see, we have to be fair. You have to, uh, in the last uh, three or four years, uh, we all know there are a lot of criticisms about the formation of the cabinet in 2015, uh, more particularly in concentration of uh, some ministries and how they were appeared. And you can see in response to the aspiration or the yearnings of Nigerians, Mr. President, uh, graciously and uh, uh, responded by making adjustments. And uh, it's part of the, he has measured and uh, evaluated uh, certainly those he have worked with in the last uh, four years. And uh, he, they he found them fit and proper to be reappointed. And uh, I think the Senate, like, uh, uh, Chief uh, Bode George have uh, rightly mentioned who uh, have screened them and I agree that there is they still can perform those functions because the Senate represents uh, Nigerians in that uh, regard. So the issue of delivery, the capacity to deliver is there. I don't think um, the, uh, for those of us who are not in the Senate who are not the President uh, uh, will be in a better position more than them who have interviewed them to say that they are not in position to uh, deliver. And uh, like I said earlier, the delivery uh, of uh, whatever is a collective responsibility. This time, not just the president, but also 
the parliament uh, that uh, screen and confirm the various uh, nominees because we shouldn't look at government uh, as something very sore. Uh, it's a collection and uh, of these two uh, uh, arms of government in arriving at who should be a minister. The uh, president nominates, the Senate confirms, and there we are. And uh, uh, certainly uh, the minister is not a chief executive. Uh, it's not, uh, uh, like I said earlier, he's not alone there. There are other factors you, which you have to consider in measuring whether the minister has performed or not. And uh, we are not operating a parliamentary system where uh, each minister uh, who is also a member of the parliament uh, had, uh, has a, a kind of uh, uh, a, a meat and a knife altogether to do certain things. Uh, but here you can see no matter what you want to be to do from the executive side, you have to lay it before the National Assembly, which will sanction a true appropriation. Whatever you want to do, if there is no appropriation, and that appropriation coming in good time, uh, uh, there is no anything that you can do, because you cannot track time. All right. uh, time doesn't wait Mr. for Mr. You. Mr. Inouye, so let me, let me quickly get, uh, apologies, let me quickly get uh, Chief Body Judge's view on this. Uh, Chief Body Judge, the petroleum sector remains the nation's cash cow. President Buhari retains uh, his position as a petroleum, the head of the petroleum ministry, and Timmy Presiva will serve as is the minister of state. Are you impressed by that move? <laughs> yeah. Look, like I said, it is the prerogative of basic president to appoint and delegate responsibilities. Now, it is not my take. I know Timmy Silva, he was in our party. I know his, uh, uh, his ability. But what I am saying is that it is a collective responsibility. I don't want to start an individualizing the problems. Now, for the last four years, yes, fuel was flowing right through this country. And there were occasions we were told there will be cheap, uh, they were going to increase the petroleum prices. That set up a lot of crisis. But now that we know that it is the president himself who is the minister of petroleum. And it's not new in that industry. I will only appeal that as, a, as an oil producing country, we must perpetually have fuel at the pumps. No uh, backstabbing or back play or dark play or whatever. And Timmy himself is from the oil producing. I hope he will be able to, conf to, 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 to convince the people there that there must be peace for easy flow of the fuel. That's all I can say. I, 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 I wish them the best as a Nigerian. But as a party member, as a political, uh, one of the leaders in my party, we are still expecting that the judgment of the Court of Appeal will still be positive on our side. Because we have our All own right. plans, and they have their own plans. But the ethics of democracy is that that length of time, the first three years, we must all work together to make sure that our country can progress. It is the last year that we now go back to the people to start politicking and campaigning. So I wish the government well. And I wish those who have been given responsibilities a lot of good luck. All right. We, we must leave it at that. Chief Olabode Judge, member of the People's Democratic Party's Board of Trustee, and from our Abuja studio, a former Minister of uh, uh, Sports, Mr. Inoua Abdokadri, and Dr. Joe Aba, a former uh, head of the civil service reform sector. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for talking to us.
We'll take a break now, and when we come back, we'll shift our focus uh, to the Kogi and Bayelsa governorship election preparations. INEC will be talking to us on what they are doing. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.